Good morning from the National Weather Service here in Pocatello. My name is Carter, and this is your Southeast Idaho weather hazard briefing for Monday, August 8th. Look at continued warm and dry weather through Tuesday, but we do have some monsoonal moisture and cooler temperatures arriving for midweek, and I'll be breaking that down for you this morning. Key points we're going to focus on today do have continued warm and dry weather continuing through Tuesday. Looks like Tuesday is probably going to be the warmest day of the week with afternoon highs in the 80s to upper 90s, especially as you get out towards the Magic Valley. So seasonably warm conditions for your early August, but monsoonal moisture does arrive for Tuesday afternoon. Going to see a slight chance for some showers out towards the Central Mountains Tuesday afternoon with that coverage expanding for Wednesday through the remainder of the week into the weekend. What that means for everybody is mostly scattered showers and afternoon thunderstorms. A little bit less chances you get across the Snake Plain and Magic Valley, but good chances especially as you head into the high country. Temperatures return to near normal levels and the afternoon highs generally about the 70s to upper 80s. So feeling seasonably cooler, especially Wednesday, but I'll be gearing that down for you this morning. Satellite view this morning, not a whole lot to talk about outside of a few clouds working their way up through the Great Basin today, associated with some monsoonal moisture working its way up towards our area. Looks like western Idaho will get the brunt of that for today, but after that, it should be drifting further east towards our region for tomorrow into Wednesday. Weather risk outlook for the week. Temperatures will continue to warm, especially today into tomorrow with above normal high temperatures across our lower elevation zones of the Snake Plain, Magic Valley, and South Hills, with again just a slight chance for some afternoon showers in the northern higher terrain. Looking at a chance for some isolated showers and storms and more scattered coverage, especially as you get into the higher terrain, primarily north and east of the Snake Plain, and that chance will continue throughout the week. So we're looking at isolated showers at our lower elevations with more scattered coverage as you get towards those higher summits. Kind of taking a look at a brief from last week. So Friday and Saturday, we did see some monsoonal moisture work its way up here into southeast Idaho and a pretty wide range of precipitation totals. So up towards Stanley, they only recorded about 0.02 inches of precip. But as you get towards the Tetons, especially the Teton Valley out towards Wyoming, upwards of two to three inches of rain fell in that two-day period. And we saw some localized urban flash flooding up towards the Idaho Falls area with a line of thunderstorms that went through that area. But overall, a pretty good rain event for many of the regions south and east of the Snake Plain and with some locally higher amounts associated with some of those thunderstorms again that developed through the central mountains max wind gusts and lightning that we saw so here are the max wind gusts generally about 20 to 55 miles an hour did see one gust up to 57 miles an hour out towards the inl complex area you can see there's a plethora of cloud to ground lightning strikes especially across the upper snake plain and along the montana and wyoming border regions Watches and warnings. We do have excessive heat warnings and heat advisories in effect for large portions of the Pacific Northwest and the Idaho Panhandle. Should be seeing those warmer temperatures, especially work down for tomorrow. Not nearly towards the level of what they're going to be seeing up there, but certainly above normal for this time of year. High temperatures in MinRH today, so we're looking at temperatures slightly warmer than yesterday, warming up by about 2 to 4 degrees. Afternoon highs will be in the 80s to mid-90s, so 81 Island Park, 95 down in Shoshone. So certainly feeling a little bit warmer than it was yesterday, but nothing too far from about normal for this time of year. The important thing to note will be those MinRH, so it's going to be critically dry, especially during the afternoon hours for many of the locations. So increased fire weather concerns, won't be a ton of wind out there, but certainly very dry conditions are going to be expected. High temperatures are going to reach for Tuesday, so we're seeing a slight improvement on humidities for your Tuesday afternoon associated with some incoming clouds overhead. But outside of that, temperatures will increase for your Tuesday about, and again, about 2 to 5 degrees. So looking at afternoon highs in the mid-80s to just about 100 degrees as you get towards the Magic Valley. So 97 up in Salmon, 94 Pocatello, 94 down in Twin Falls, and only 87 as you get towards Montpelier. So certainly an above normal day, and as you get towards the Magic Valley, again, heat risk concerns for those vulnerable populations. High temperatures on Wednesday, so things noticeably cool down, especially across our northern terrain and southern valley zones. So we're seeing temperatures fall back into the mid-80s to low 90s. Still falling on about mid-90s as you get up towards Salmon, but outside of that, it should return to near normal levels. As we have that monsoon moisture arriving into our area, bringing abundant cloud cover and helping to keep those temperatures slightly cooler for your middle part of the week. Temperatures on Thursday staying fairly consistent with where we were. We'll be staying fairly moderate in the mid-80s to low 90s, but outside of that, nothing too anomalous for this time of year. High temperatures on Friday, so if not cooling by, again, a few degrees, so we're under the influence of that consistent monsoon moisture well into the weekend. Be seasonably cool in the mountains, but afternoon highs will be in just about in the 80s to low 90s for everyone. Kind of looking at where we're going to be headed over the next 6 to 10 days. So this is looking at the outlook for August 13th through 17th. Even above normal precip favored for much of the Great Basin extending into the northern Rockies and southwest Montana. So at least keeping with that monsoon moisture trend, we should be seeing that continue into the early part of next week. And with those temperatures as well, staying slightly above normal as you get especially further north. Looks like those cooler temperatures and below normal will stay further south, but could see that start to edge a little bit closer into our area as we get towards the later part of this week. 
8 to 14, continuing that chance of precipitation as we get especially across the southern portions of the forecast area. We do have a high area of high pressure centered over the Four Corners region, which will evict a lot of monsoonal moisture up into portions of Idaho and mainly along the Utah-Nevada border regions especially. 8 to 14, keeping with the temperatures above normal, it looks like so we'll have another heat dome kind of established across the Pacific Northwest for the middle part of August. And we'll be on the outer periphery on that, but temperatures should slightly warm back up through that August 20th time frame. In conclusion this morning, due to the continued warm and dry weather continuing through Tuesday, afternoon highs will be in the 80s to upper 90s, approaching 100 degrees as you get towards the Magic Valley, with monsoonal moisture arriving around midweek to help cool things off and bring some increased chances for precipitation back to the region. Coverage expands for Wednesday, so mainly just a slight chance for some showers, western Magic Valley, central mountains for your Tuesday, but that coverage does expand for Wednesday as a form of scattered showers and afternoon thunderstorms. Temperatures will return to near normal levels, and generally in the 70s to upper 80s, so feeling quite normal for this time of year. But outside of that, that wraps up your weather briefing for today, on Monday, August 8th. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please feel free to send us an email, give us a call, or check out some information on our website. Have an awesome day.